We begin tonight with an agreement between the Federal Drug Administration and Ecuador that could negatively impact Alabama's seafood capital, Bayou Labatry. Officials say the agreement is to help facilitate growth of shrimp exports to the U.S. NBC 15's Lisa Labrinyak joins us now. Lisa, this has shrimpers and even the mayor down in the bayou pretty upset. Yeah, that's right, Kim, and it's tough because many of the shrimpers I spoke with today say they're already struggling to make ends meet. It's really going to affect us a lot more. Shrimp prices are already low, fuel prices are high. It's going to hurt the fishing industry more than anything. Trey Bonin says this agreement is disappointing, but they're going to continue to do what they have to do. According to Ecuador's National Chamber of Aquaculture, this agreement allows Ecuador to offer official guarantees for shrimp exports to the U.S., facilitating the process to enter the country. It's, uh, it's crazy. You know, I guess President Joe Biden can sign some paperwork to forgive all the boat loans and the loans that the shrimp shops have to take out, like he's doing for the college folks. Henry Barnes is the mayor of Biolabatri. He says some shrimpers are leaving the seafood capital of Alabama, heading east to make more money. You got your shrimp shops have 40 to 50 people, with their, and that's 40 to 50 families that's going to be affected. You got the guys on the shrimp boat, have four or five guys on there. That's four or five families affected for each shrimp boat, plus the owners. Many are wondering why the U.S. is making it easier to advance foreign interests. In Bayou Labatry, some boats have been docked for a while, sitting empty until fuel prices cool off. We're lucky we still get to work, and our boss is still putting us out there and being to go make a check, but we barely make an ends meet. During the first six months of this year, the U.S. was Ecuador's second biggest market, increasing 34 percent year over year in the states with a value of 702 million. That's according to SeafoodSource.com. With this agreement, people are expecting that number to go up. Congressman Jerry Carl's office says it's not going to comment just yet, but as far as what people can do now to help, shop local. Greg Kim.